Are you up, Dan? With only five days left on his Bolivian gold hunt. Sleep well, Parker? You wouldn't have wanted to roll over against that. <laughs> Parker and his crew are at a crossroads. I suppose the big question is, do we stay or do we go? I do think we should check out other areas around, but we can do both at once. We can keep running here and check other places out. OK, well, how are we going to do that? Tyler, I was going to have you stay here and run the excavator. It's a good idea. Cool, I'd love that. Can you give me a quick lesson? Yeah, we can do that. OK, cool. If you're all right to shovel Diego. I'm fine with that. Dan, you and I can check out that other plaster mine. With this guy, Kent CO. OK, yeah, cool. I wasn't really expecting this to happen, but that's mining. These trips are really about just seeing as much as we can. And if you find a big block of ground that goes 15 an ounce per day, we need to get out here and explore it. I like that plan. Yeah? Yep. Want to try a bit further upstream, Parker? Yeah, keep going. Parker's plan? Leave Tyler and Diego to hunt for gold at Bonanza, while he and Danny visit the Kemsee mine, owned by the miners they met yesterday. The number one thing is not getting this thing broke down out here. But first, he gives Tyler a crash course with the excavator. At this stage, we don't have any time to waste. We really need to divide and conquer. We have to split up. So it's really important that I can bring something to the team, and operating an excavator is that at this moment. It's much easier to do rather than explain. OK. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can tell you that this is swing, or you can just sit in here and you can learn that, that swing. Yeah. Um, I'm and not a good teacher. I know that. It's quite nerve-wracking. I really want to go. I want to go. I do want to go and watch, but I just think if she... Yeah, it would just make her. Yeah. Uh, I'll watch from here. OK, you're going to have to give me some directions. OK. I've never done this before. Throttle! Throttle! Wasn't a very full bucket. Dump it out and do it again. This is how I was taught. Get in the thing, do the job. Figure it out. I think that's how most people should learn. I could sit here and talk for 10 hours about excavators, but like it's all information that's useless if if the control part of it isn't just like second nature. But Tyler's just trying to worry about what hopefully not burying the wash plant. Any tips? I think you're doing fine. There's plenty of dirt there to fire up. Okay, should I get out? Get out. All right. Yeah, I'm just really slow at the moment. I just have to have some more time in there. That's fine. All right. We'll keep it running here then. All right. Good have, luck. Have fun. You too. Worst training session ever because of the teacher. Went OK. He's gone now, so I'm just going to have to make it work. Dan, are you driving? I'll drive. Wait, you're on the wrong side of the road. Be all right. You sure? Happens, eh? With Parker and Danny heading to the Kemsee mine, Tyler and Diego must set up and run the Bonanza claim solo. That was not a full bucket again. Parker's lesson was so bad. It was about 90 seconds total. And he um, basically just said, I need to learn on the job. So I'm just going to take it really slow to make sure I'm getting those full buckets. There we go. But you already move a lot of dirt. Yeah, I've got about four scoops in there now. How about if I jump out and we can set everything up? In a final bid to see if Bonanza is worth investing in. Everything's a lot harder as a two-person job, hey? 
Tyler and Diego are testing a new area, one mile upstream. Three of those mountains we've got to get through. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I know. Good work, Diego. I'll go get the pump. Okay. We'll just plug that in. Parker, his way of being a boss is definitely throwing you in the deep end and you have to sink or swim. It's exciting though, I like being in this position. Gold's been a part of my life forever. I've learned so much about mining, especially continuing on from the Yukon. I'm sure it won't be long before I kind of find my feet and we figure it out. Diego, it's not working. Is the pump getting stuck? It's getting stuck here. It's a dud pump. You're gonna get uh, sick. Diego, you could have got something a little bit more fashionable. It's a poncho. They never work. Pumps never do what you want them to do. I actually don't think I've ever just turned on a pump and it worked in my whole entire life. <sighs> this is a pain in the ass. I, I don't think I can fix that. Maybe if you get a rock and bash it? On Bonanza Creek, rain. Tyler and Diego are struggling to get a water pump going so they can run pay dirt from a new test area. The water's making it all the way to just there, so we'd be able to see a blockage if there was one there. So we can either turn it on and try again, or we can change the fittings for the other pump and use the other pump. Maybe let's try that one. This pump seems to work a lot better than that one anyway. I'm hoping it has enough water output to run that, but we'll have to wait and see. Just put this one. That one there. Uh -huh. Unable to get the larger pump working. I hate pumps. I hate them so much. Tyler's plan is to use the smaller pump that feeds the ground sluice. Nice work. Lucky you and your leather man are here. I'd be in a bit of trouble. All right. This should work. Ready? Yes! Wow! All right, we're in action. Oh, I I'll get the excavator and I'll dump some more and then we'll just keep going. With the small pump running the trommel, that was a pretty full bucket. That wasn't too bad. Yay! <laughs> Tyler builds the pay pile. All right, I'm hoping we can get about another 10 of these done. It's another 10 yards. That's probably 17 yards in total. I feel like he just chucked me in the deep end, but it's really important Parker and Danny are kind of exploring and finding some more options. So I think or swim, girl. 